Hello, hello, welcome back to another anime art video. My name is Dennis and I'm a beginner artist and in today's video I'm going to be drawing a cone inside of Ichigo's body, obviously. This episode was more in tune with, I said previously that I don't really like this episode that much because I thought it was going to be what Udahara was doing while they were all in the Waco Mundo. And uh, for this episode to be what it is, I know that it's going to get more serious, I think, as time goes. But for the first thing for them to do when their friends go to a place that is very dangerous is you grab Cone and allow Cone and three of Ichigo's friends and Don Kenoji fight a bunch of hollows that are going to show up instead of him fighting them which he would stand a far better chance of fighting every hollow that shows up than that whole entire team fighting any hollows he can do so much more damage but he probably has stuff to do I guess but I say that, but he was watching them while they were battling. So you can't be doing something that important if you can actually watch the battle going on. But um, I say that the arc is going to get uh, more serious, but I already know that it gets serious because at the end of the episode, we end up seeing a castle with a person that appears to be an Espada. So... You know, there's that. I don't remember directly what who fights these enemies, but somebody it it could be the visards. Like it like they show that the visards go toward the battle. The the episode before this one, they show the visards like you know like they show the parallel between uh the soul society and the visors and what they actually meant to the soul society so then the visors at the end of the episode ended up you know saying that they owe a lot to uh kis uh uh not kisuke uh wait is it kisuke yeah kisuke Urahara. yeah kisuke i don't know why i said kisuke and i thought of the dude with rose petals but yeah so they said that they owe him so then they ended up you know grabbing their swords and stuff and heading out to the battlefield so theoretically what i can see happening here would be like if we look at people that are soul reapers that can actually fight from uh this location uh, we can look at the visors probably stepping in but i know they i well i'm not gonna say i know they won't I don't think that they will. Honestly, I don't really remember this arc that much in terms of like where things are placed. But let's get into this.
All right, I am finished with this picture of Ichigo, Ichigo's body, and Kone's mind. I I honestly don't know why Kone uses Ichigo's body. I understand it's one of those things where it's like, oh, well, Ichigo's body is not being used while Ichigo is in his soul reaper form, so why not have Kone use it? The reason why not is because you can just as easily just create a body for Kone to inhabit whenever he wants, so his actions don't directly impact Ichigo's life. Like, for instance, somebody seeing Ichigo body jumping like five stories high you know it's like a bad look and i don't think that it makes that much sense for him to constantly use ichigo's body when ichigo's body i don't want to say ichigo's body doesn't have like special properties because obviously ichigo is a really good fighter so his body is actually in tune with that and if cone inhabits somebody that is capable of fighting i think that um, their body composition will better fit him being able to fight in their body rather than him in uh, getting put inside, let's say, a body like Kego or Mizuido, right? Uh, Ichigo's friends, those two dudes. But um, yeah, that's it for this video. If you liked it, be sure to leave a like, subscribe. If you didn't, let me know what I can do in the comment section just to make it better for you to watch next time. The glove is off. Peace, love. Thanks for watching.